Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Is it worth a buy? Is it, is it, is it? Schnell, schnell, schnell. Well, let's read the words of the developer. America, 1961. The assassination of Nazi General Death's Head was a short-lived victory. The Nazis maintained their stranglehold on the world. You are B.J. Blaskovich, a.k.a. Terra Billy, member of the resistance, scourge of the Nazi Empire, and humanity's last hope for liberty. Yes, guys, it's another Wolfenstein game. The game that is so special to me. It was the first ever first-person shooter I played. Wolfenstein 3D on shareware in DOS many moons ago. Oh, how we laughed. How we loved. How we thought, wow, this is the new, new way to play games. If only we could have gone forward 30-odd years in time to see the absolute banter piss of games released today under the genre first-person shooter. Games like Destiny... Mac, just get on with it. I didn't like the last two Wolfensteins, guys, because they were hand-holding, cutscene-ridden piles of filth that showed you every single thing that you had to do. They left nothing for you to do yourself. It was just a simple case of follow the blue f***ing circle all the way around the maps. They were just vomit-inducing piles of banter wank. So is this one any better? Well... Kind of, yeah, it is. It's better. It's better, guys. It's better, but then it's worse. But then it's better. But then it's it's not Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It's just not. It's not. It's it's Return to Castle Social Justice Warrior Stein kind of. So anyway, guys, what's it like? Let's just cut to the. Let's just cut to the. I'm 11 hours in, and it's only 14 hours long. Um, it's longer than that if you do all the side quests and, you know, stuff like that and collect all the collectibles. Because you know how important collectibles are to millennials. Graphically wise, it looks great. Uh, it runs great on my machine. I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. I had one crash that was down to shadow play, but I do know there's a lot of people having issues with this. So if you are, don't blame me. I know it's an NVIDIA issue. And I was reading that there is a beta driver available that kind of fixes it. So if you're having issues like that, then go and get that driver. My only downside of the graphics is sometimes when I've been looking through the scope, the light has been all so glary and shitty that I haven't been able to see the Germans. Uh, the Germans generally are wearing the, the dark uniform and I haven't been able to see them at all. And that has been a bit of a problem, but it hasn't happened that often. It's not on every level. The sound is really top notch. I mean, the, the accents is great. The gunplay, the sound of the guns is just meaty. And it's just this. It's the kind of game that when you fire the guns, you you, you, you push your lips out like Sylvester Stallone and go, mm, Jeff. It's that kind of thing, and you you know you even shaking your hand on the mouse as it with the bit of recoil. You know it's like you, the meaty, the meaty, you fucking fire in it, the krauts, and you see the blood splatting off them as their arms come off. It's the gunplay is awesome, and the sound of it is so meaty, guys. It's it's that I love that. I love the actual the actual. You know the the actual is yeah, it's good. So how was the gameplay, the story, the gameplay, the gameplay, the story, the story, the gameplay, the gameplay, the story? Well, the story is a big pile of banter piss. It's just so far-fetched, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, but hilarious. I've had more laughs at this than I did in the entire time I played South Park. It's hilarious, guys. Absolutely. It's just total tongue-in-cheek. doesn't take itself seriously, but... That only happens after about six or seven hours. It starts off all serious and it, they've turned BJ into some kind of pufter. I didn't want to fight the Germans much more because I have, I have twins, two little babies. I don't, and I don't really want them to grow up in Nazi America. You get the idea, guys. He's just, is this big f***ing ponce. One of his friends dies, and, and he's all, ah, 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 I see your wings, I see your wings, your, your wings are glowing. And let's just go f*** yourself, BJ. Get a f***ing gun, shoot a few krauts, and you'll feel a hell of a lot better. And he's all ponty, but then as the game goes on, further on into the game, he then starts to, you know, ah, oh, f*** everything. Who gives a f***? Give us a big f***ing gun. And then he just goes around killing everybody. The story is just funny really just don't take it seriously if you take it seriously you'll hate the game but if you just don't take the, the story one bit serious i mean there's one bit where you bump into these rednecks 
and they are there's one of them playing the clarinet one sniping and you were having an argument with the leader in the middle of a gun battle with clarinet music and this orchestral crescendo building up it is f***ing hilarious i was laughing my tits off so you get the idea the story is just it's just you know it's you know, it's it's totally not serious, but then it does get serious. You've got the Ku Klux Klan talking to the Nazis, which I thought was quite funny. You know, two bunch of f***ing racists talking to each other, which I thought was a nice touch. Uh, but then you've got the leader of the resistance, this black woman who's a complete racist. It's just, you know, it's all f***ed up, the story. I didn't really pay much attention to, to it, to be honest. I'm, I'm not, I didn't get this for the story. I, I play this to shoot Germans with huge guns, and I'm having real... Not that I've got anything against Germans, you know. You know, live and let live, you know, was all part of our history. And if I ever see a German, I wouldn't mention the war at all. Um, much. But it's all about shooting Germans. And you get lots of guns to do that with. You get your usual array, you got your pistol, then you've got your, your little submachine gun, then you've got your heavy f***ing meteor machine gun, then you've got this shotgun thing, then you've got this laser beam thing, and you can pull guns off the mountings as well, and you get these huge laser cutters and flamethrowers and all that kind of stuff. And as you go through the game, you find these um, weapon modification kits, and each weapon can be modded three times. And I've pretty much unlocked all of the stuff now on all of my guns. You get scopes, silencers, bigger magazines, more damage, and all kinds of stuff. There's loads to loot in this game, guys. It all flashes like, you know, like... But, you know, the, the game itself is fun. I'm not going to say... It's more fun than the last two. I'm enjoying this way more than I enjoyed the last two. Um, the gun, I think the gun plays better and I think the fights are better in this one. You even get to ride on the back of one of them big mechanical flamethrower dogs, which I found hilarious. It's just so absurd. It's so f***ing absurd. There is some bad things that you do need to know. Listen carefully, guys. He's the bad. He's the bad. He's the bad, Wesley Bells. When you're doing the levels, you can either choose to stealth them or just go in guns blazing. What that essentially means is there's a commander or maybe, maybe two commanders on the level. And if you are seen or fire a shot while they're alive, they will fire up the alarm and reinforcements will come and you'll have to fight way more units than you ever thought you would have to. For me, that's a good thing. I kind of like the alarms to go off because I like the gunplay and I like shooting Germans. So for me, it wasn't an issue, but... In one of the maps I went into, I raised the alarm as I normally do, and I had this big mounted flamethrower, and the entire level just came running at me, one at a time through a door, and I beat the entire level without actually entering the main building that I was supposed to go into, which I thought was a bit shit. To be honest. Well, it was shit. There's no way that the pathfinding and the AI should behave the way it does. The AI can be awful, but... On certain levels and certain AI, it's it's really, really good. They dodge, they dive behind boxes, they're hard to hit. And you do need to hit them in the head, a lot of them, because you get perks. There's a perk system. It's not like the perk system that you normally get in a game where you, you get perk points to spend. In this, it's all down to your, your, the way you play the game. If you do, you know, kill 20 people with a headshot, you'll get, get a new ability, that you, like a passive ability. And that's the way it goes throughout. Burn 40 people and you'll get another passive ability. And all that. I didn't alter my play style at all to, to collect any of these perks. I don't give a f about perks. I just want a big gun and I want to shoot Germans. Have I told you that? I think I have. The other big problem with this is the cutscenes. There's too many of them, way too many of them, and they are way too f***ing long. I don't give a f*** about BJ's childhood. I don't give a f*** about his dad. I don't give a f*** about all the lovey-dovey, namby-pamby, SJW f***ing shite that seems to get throttled down your throats in all these games today. I don't want it. I don't give a f*** about it. It's all just padding. There's more padding in this game than an American footballer's f***ing jockstrap. It is full of f***ing padding to bloat out the game. Oh, it lasts 20 hours. Yeah, I mean, the cutscenes probably last 20 f***ing hours. But, you know, I, I escaped half of them because I didn't give a f*** about the story, to be honest. It's not a story that's like, wow. It's It tries to be emo, but at the end of the day, it's just a absurd, hilariously bad story with some really crazy characters. Some of it's funny, some of it isn't. It's all about the gunplay in this game. It's all about the gameplay. And the gunplay of the gameplay is really fun most of the time. I'd say 90% of the time you'll have a ball just blasting the shit out of things, upgrading your guns and all that. And, you know, I found myself wanting to search the levels for weapon upgrade packs and stuff because it does make the game more enjoyable when you can upgrade your weapons with scopes and silences and stuff like that. So I kind of... It's one of the only games that have actually really went out my way to search. 
you can also dual wield in this like you could in the other two but for me that i didn't enjoy the dual wielding at all um i just like this the single fire weapons and uh, i love the weapons in this game they're really good the laser cutters are amazing uh they the really are the flame throws are amazing the, all the weapons is good in this game there's none i didn't like them and like i said they all sound meaty it's not a great game this it's it's a good game but it's not a great game but 2017 has been a diabolical year for gaming uh, 2016 was bad but 2017 is just way way worse and this is kind of an average to good game certainly not a run out and buy it game um, but I got it for £33, I think it was, on Greenman Gaming, which I thought was a fair price for, for the amount of enjoyment that I'm having and still have. There's still more missions to do on this. You collect these Enigma codes off captains and then you put them through an, an Enigma machine and you get a lot of side quests to go and kill these um, these captains. And the only trouble with that is, is you have to be able to do the code in the Enigma machine and you only have a certain amount of cards and you will lose them if you fail. And what I want to know is, if you lose all the cards, do you just not get access to this content then? Because I did lose a couple of cards doing the Enigma codes. So that's a bit shit. I think you should just get access to it anyway, but you know, gamers are like these days. So there you go, guys. Wolfenstein 2 is not a great game. It's it's a good game. Um, it's worth, like I say, grab it on Green Man Gaming, or you can pay £40 on Steam. It's up to you. Um, but if you want to support the channel, you can go on Green Man Gaming. Links in the description. It's an alright game. It's actually a good game, let's be honest. And um, I'm enjoying it. 14 hours isn't a great amount of time for this kind of money, but it has replay value with the fact that you can select the other guy at the beginning, get a totally different type of weapon, and get a different guy coming through the story to hear his side of things. So I'm going to do that, and I'm probably going to stream my second playthrough of this because um, I have enjoyed the first one and the gunplay is just great killing crowds guys has never been as much fun as it is in this game